and my top 10 moments of 2019. <laughs> this particular one is 104. Stampede after the storm. That's oh, right. That Wrong. That right. <laughs> Wrong. He's a Duke fan. Look what he did for me. You guys might have guessed it already. Gearhead 704. I'm Matt and welcome to 2020. I hope you guys had an awesome New Year's Eve. You're having a great New Year's Day or whenever you're watching this that the new year has started out well for you. What I have for you today is something I didn't initially plan to make and that is uh, my top 10 moments of 2019. And the reason why I'm doing it is I realized I just had an awesome, awesome year doing these YouTube videos. Uh, I am enjoying it so much more than I realized and I just want to share kind of my top 10 moments with you guys because it was such a blast. I don't even know how to describe it really, just the joy I get from doing stuff to the Fox Bodies and talking to all you guys in the comments or Instagram or wherever we, we know we meet in person maybe at some of the shows. But I do want to cover my top 10 moments of the year and so we're going to go ahead and jump into that and I'm going to comment a little bit on each one and why it's a top 10 for me and then we'll talk a little bit at the end about what's coming up for 2020. Okay, so the way these are gonna work is I'm actually gonna watch them and kind of describe to you a little bit, not the entire video, but just portions of these top 10 videos and kind of explain to you what I was thinking about. And this one we're about to jump into, it's actually uh, one of my worst viewed videos. I think it only had 162 views. I never made any money on it, but I went with my little sister to Cars and Coffee and she's just not a car person at all. And so I uh, kind of played a little joke on her, see if she could find Godzilla, which is a Nissan GTR. And she had no idea what that car was. And so anyway, let's just go ahead and jump into it because I remember this one being so much fun. Mondi, do you think this is Godzilla? Um, so I asked her about the Ferrari. Doubtful. There's a horse. Yeah, it's a horse. Is it a Mustang? No. <laughs> so she knew it was a Mustang or a horse. <laughs> she noticed it's a Ferrari on here. <laughs> it is, it does, you just said, tell me it looks lonely. It, it does look Maybe lonely. you should drive it. It's, uh, yeah, that's great. And then uh, I, I, I love don't think the, the owner would like that. It's pretty sweet one, though. Or at least I remember them being really good. We'll see. They are or not. When I, you know, I love to do this, guys. I love to always uh, have the sort of montage in the thing with some music as the cars. I just love doing that. A lot of cool cars there that day. And then, so yeah, I cut in here. That's gonna be me after the Mustang project. Yeah, <laughs> bankrupt. Uh, you guys, if you guys know, yeah, I spent a lot of money on the tire box for sure. It's a Mercedes. Burnouts, we got burnouts going on. And then, all right, the very end of the bit, just a fun video in general, but uh, this is kind of the funniest part. We did find the Nissan GTR. All right, so Manda, yes. have you spotted Godzilla yet? No. And uh, no. she no. had no idea. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if you've seen this video, but I'm gonna go ahead and put all the videos down in the description below, just a link to all of them. So if you do wanna check out the whole thing, you can. I'm gonna to try to keep this short. Number nine is actually uh, an event. It's the All Ford Cruise Inn that I went to over the summer. And the reason why this is number nine is I got to meet a lot of people there. And also I use a ton of this footage uh, in my intro, uh, which I do need a new intro by the way. But yeah, I actually got to meet Harris. I got to meet uh, Matt and Jen from Fox Mustang Restoration. I had my old buddy Ben there, ODB Capri. Stay tuned, uh, you might see more from him later. In the summertime, you get to actually go out and enjoy all this stuff. But yeah, here's right when I met Jen here. And I'm here with Jen. Hi, Jen. Welcome Hi to the channel. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, I'm Jen Hiley from Fox Mustang Restoration. Uh, we produce Fox 
Oktoberfest every year. This will be our ninth year with Foxtoberfest. So um, we're very excited. Uh, you can check out all the details at foxtoberfest.com. Uh, registration is probably- So I do a, just a little bit with Fox Mustang Restoration now, in case you guys don't know. I do a lot with them actually. That's where I, I work on my two Foxes that I have as you'll see more later in this top 10. And so it's just really cool that I got to meet them here today uh, for the first time. And Jen's actually standing right there, I believe beside Peaches, and that's Matt's 85 T-top, so. And then the other part that's really funny in this one is, uh, well, of course, I always am moving my cars in these events. That happens all the time. I got my buddy, Mr. Uh, Automotif in there. But yeah, yeah, I kind of played a kind of a little you know, uh, joke on Harris right here. Yeah, yeah this, this is where I kind of get. I always wear cargo right shirts. Just for you, buddy. Oh, well, just for you, buddy. Ah, look at that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I bought his shirt and wore it. Finally got to meet him. So that was cool. I ended up doing a whole little uh, thing, uh, video, separate video with him. He's an awesome guy, and I'm so glad I got to finally meet him. So yep, that's number nine. Okay, for number eight, actually, uh, I used to do a lot of car reviews. I don't do as many as I used to, but uh, you know, I still do them from time to time. And I finally got to review my favorite Fox Body Mustang. Uh, well, I second favorite, not a uh, favorite unique Fox Body Mustang, which is the Celine SSC. This video has actually really done quite well. It didn't when it first came out, but the format I did was very different. I actually did kind of the history of the car and talking about Steve Celine and why he made the 89 SSC. And it's just such a fun, fun video to do. And I didn't do a lot of these, but if you uh, haven't seen this one, you like this kind of format, let me know. But it's just such an awesome car. So in 1984, Steve Celine started um, building basically his own cars. A lot of people so trying to, to call sound all tour, official, but he was very adamant that that is not what he did. That was the first year Celine's actually got disc brakes. And um, this 89 of course has it, but it also has five lug. And then I actually tried to make shorter videos back then. So right here at the end of it, I did not actually uh, ride in the car. We made that a separate video, which uh, now I would have just put it all onto one. I make longer videos now. As you guys probably know, uh, my videos are kind of way long, but you know, I like to pack it all in there rather than have you know, you guys waiting and, and dragging stuff out. Number seven is actually, uh, I met my friend Ben, who's had the Capri on the channel a few times before. And really when I went to this event, I did not know what I was gonna do as far as, uh, I just had to make content. A lot of times I just have to make content. And of course this is another event, 55th anniversary for Mustangs. And so they, uh, I came here and I thought I'd just do like another car review thing, but I needed something more. And, uh, and of course, Harris's car was there, uh, Serpinator, all those guys. And then I ran into uh, I ran into Ben, who owns the awesome '82 Capri. I mean, this thing is just—he uh, calls it ODB for old dirty bastard. <laughs> and but it really is going to be a nice car. And he's done a lot more to it since then. And what's really funny about this is uh, right beside him is Mike's Clay's just awesome uh, Cobra from like, I think it's, I don't know, maybe it's also 82. I can't remember, but Mike Clay's car is, is mint. And here we are talking about this old beat up Capri instead and highlighting that. Uh, just so funny with Mike, Mike Clay having that awesome, awesome car. And I'm just kind of ignoring it throughout the video. Uh, to Capri. But uh, so your Instagram is... O ODB Capri. ODB Capri, and I'll, I'll put that on the screen. Check him out if you guys are not following him already. Yeah, but just ask Ben about the car. He's still getting it together. Uh, it's going to come along, though, and it will be back on the channel again. All right, so number six, this was really close. It almost made it into the top five, but uh, it had to be, you know, it was real close, uh, but this was this was awesome. This is what came together when Mustang Week was canceled, and it was right here in Charlotte, and, and Jeremy, Pony1992, Ken, Speed Addict 731, and Jack, Determined Veteran, uh, they all came up to Charlotte. The first time I ever met uh, Jack, and we kind of all got together. It was great, and 
this event. And of course, Fox Mustang Restoration helped out with it getting set up. But uh, yeah, what an awesome time. And uh, right here at the beginning of the video, it's pretty funny, Jack. <laughs> Jack totally got me. This might be the best part of the video. You watch Jack. Tony I had no idea he was there. That's Jack the Terminator, by the way. <laughs> Check him out if you haven't. He's See, I was awesome giving guy. Jack sh uh, like shout outs back then. Otherwise, he's pretty good dude. But he's uh, yeah, he's definitely, Jack's an awesome guy. And then the yeah, other favorite kind of part of the video, I mean, there's so much good in this video. Such a great time. Uh, I got to go back into the museum again. I got a whole separate video on that. Uh, but I caught Josh Kennedy coming in uh, in his awesome uh, Cobra. 93 Cobra and uh, yeah, let's just check this part. I love this little sequence here. That's an actual Cobra, not a clone like mine. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I got a clone. Uh, just a fun sequence there. Uh, and then of course, uh, I, I met all kinds of people here. That's what I love, I love meeting people. Uh, and I got met Yellow Fox Body Guy out here, I got his car, uh, Frank's Three Stangs, just all kinds of people, so. What a great, great time. Oh, and the first time, of course, I ever met Demon Fox 5.0. Uh, Michael, who's been on the channel a lot before, but we had talked for a long time. That's what's great about YouTube is just how much you can you can meet people and, and everything like that. Uh, but this is the first time I actually met him. Top five, and this one had to be in my top five. It had to be. This is really what helped my channel grow uh, so much. Uh, is going out to Ford Takeover in May. I met so many other YouTubers. I got exposure out there. Uh, you know, C Caleb's channel, Brutal's channel, Ken's channel. I met Pony 1992, and it's just uh, a really great event. Um, and it really helped my channel grow. And I know we've had a few events here in a row, but this was just huge, huge for my channel, and just an awesome time. I do plan on going back to Ford Takeover. Uh, you know, after, uh, I'm sorry, next, this next year, the date hasn't been announced yet, but I will go. And, uh, yeah, it's just such a, such an awesome time. Uh, even, uh, you know, I also met G Funk Express out there too, which, uh, I didn't, you know, I didn't really, uh, know he wasn't doing YouTube at the time. I don't think, or he just started. Andrew's awesome, awesome Arctic Fox. So you guys can see, I really like events. Really like events. Night, night, Mustang. Ant out there too, another YouTuber. It's a lot of, fun today, a lot of, of course, I also met Bowtie Killer out there. I mean, just Bowtie Killer 87, just so many people. I met at these things. Uh, it's just great. For number four, surprise, surprise, another event. And this is uh, Foxtoberfest this year. I just. You know, obviously the best event for Fox Bodies. Um, again, a lot of ha I had an awesome opening sequence here, or at least I love doing these. And event run by uh, Matt and Jen for Fox Mustang Restoration, you know, and just an awesome time. Actually, Chocolate Fox is coming up. That's gonna be in uh, Pennsylvania, Hershey, PA. I'm gonna go to that too. I just love the events, you know, like I, I, I've already said it before, but. Such a great time. I actually made two videos on Fox Dover Fest. It was just literally so much. I met so many more people out there. I know I'm gonna leave people out. Uh, I did get to see this awesome uh, Coyote Swap Fox body that uh, Dover built out here. And it's kinda, well, I almost went that direction on my car, uh, the Tar Heel Fox, but I did not do that. And uh, you know, you guys know the direction I'm going on that car now. Hicks House videos out there. Uh, yes, people bringing me stuff. People actually recognizing me. It was really cool. Uh, obviously, Pony was out there. I uh, just so many people. Seeing Harris out there again. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome event. Yep, G Funk again. But we also got the Fox Chamber here with us. So he's he's representing. Here we are, part number three, number three, and uh, you shouldn't be shouldn't be too surprised about this because uh, I'm not a mechanic. I really have uh, been learning on this channel. I haven't known very much about it, and I finally I decided to uh, get a GT40 intake manifold. Actually, I got it with the SSP when I got the SSP, and I wanted to see if it would solve some uh, problems for me. 
uh, that I was having with the car. It didn't solve any problems, but I actually installed the intake manifold myself, you know, lower and upper. And just for me, that was just such a huge, huge thing. Can't thank Matt enough for showing me how to do it. I never would have taken on something like this in the past. I would have paid somebody. And it was just awesome to see it finished. My favorite moment in this one is actually when I get the, uh, try to start the car up and actually get the car running. Put a car together and it's not blowing up right now. What is going on? All right, number two. <laughs> the first time I'm going somewhere with Pony 1992, you should know what this is. If you didn't see it, this is where I actually picked up my new project car, the SSP. And I was so excited to go there. And when I actually uh, finally saw the car, I'm gonna just jump, go ahead and jump to that part. It was just such a, a blast and I was so excited, I couldn't believe it. See, yeah, there's the GT40 intake I got, yep. <laughs> I use the opening music I use now for the uh, for the SSP reveal. I didn't even realize that. I got a coupe, a notch. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Um, a lot's gonna be coming for this car. Stay tuned to the channel. Yes, I know I already have one Fox body, but I need two. I need at least two. Still so had the headlight. Excited. Back um, the car is definitely rough, Wait. but that's what I wanted. I was so and, excited. Um, this car. It's gone really slow, but uh, we are gonna really ramp up on it in 2020. All right, number one, and I think a lot of you guys have actually gone back and watched this video because when I first released it, it didn't get a lot of views. I mean, it still doesn't have a lot, but it has almost a thousand now. And this is the first time I actually went ahead and I picked up Tar Hill Fox after it was painted. Got painted by our dream auto. And uh, here, I'll just, I'll just show you how happy I was right here. Yeah, it is, it is great. Uh, just so, so exciting to pick up that car. And my other favorite part of this video is uh, when I finally, well, I got to drive the car after a long time, but I actually got to drive it home. And I uh, got some great, Tiffany got some great footage on the highway, my wife, of me doing some pulls in the car. Just sounds so good. to see it actually going down the road in that color for the first time. And so there we go, top 10 moments for 2019. And you know, I think you can understand why all these are on the list, at least the top five. Such an awesome, awesome year. How much fun I have on YouTube is just fantastic. I love it. But big things coming for 2020. We're gonna get hard and heavy on the SSP. I'm gonna get that done. Tar Hill Fox with their new paint is sitting in the garage and I'm gonna wait a little bit on the motor on that. Yes, it would be faster to actually fix the motor on that first. But uh, you know, I, I just wanna get the SSP done. I had all intentions of doing that. That's what made the channel grow initially. And honestly, I'd really just wanna drive a notch. And I'm more motivated right now to the SSP. When I look at Tar Hill Fox, I look at a car that has you know, 60, over $65,000 into it that doesn't run. And rather than throw more and more money at it right now, I just want to go ahead and see if I can build something a lot cheaper. And obviously I should be able to, and this time I'm gonna build it myself. Doesn't mean I'm getting rid of Tar Heel Fox, of course not, I never will, but I just need a break from that car right now, um, just because of everything that, that I've put into it over the 15 years that I've paying people and how it just hasn't worked out for me. 
but um, we'll get back to it. We'll get back to it. So a lot of SSP stuff coming and yeah, it's my top 10. If you stuck in here this long, I really appreciate it. You know, it's another long video. I don't know how to make short videos anymore, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, but if you stayed in, I guess you like them. So if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. It helps out a lot. And if you're stopping in for the first time, you like what you see, please subscribe because I do upload two times a week, every Sunday and Wednesday. And we'll see you next time on GearHead 704. <laughs> we'll see if they catch this at the end of the video. Oh, yeah. <laughs>